Good morning. Well, it's Sunday, and today is the official first inaugural cook on the Master Built 560 Gravity Series. Um, today I'm just going to do a slab of ribs, nothing spectacular. Uh, I want to keep it basic because I want to see what type of smoke flavor this Master Built infuses into the ribs. Also, after uh, the ribs are about halfway done, I'm going to put on some wings. And these wings are a recipe that I saw on the television, or I'm sorry, Travel Channel, specifically Food Paradise or Paradise Food. I'm not sure what the title is. Uh, picked this up from uh, one of their barbecue specials. The guy, I think, uh, the restaurant is actually Central Barbecue in Memphis, Tennessee. And on his recipe, he marinates his whole chicken wings for 24 to 48 hours in a Louisiana style hot sauce. That's it. Then he actually smokes them at 250 for about two and a half to three hours till they reach temp. And he takes them out, drops them in the deep fryer crisps up the skin and uh, his customers were raving about it so having seen another video on uh, making a mojo where he did uh, something very similar with his wingettes cooked them in the Weber kettle using the vortex then he threw a cast iron skillet over the, the vortex and crisps them up for about one minute um, I know the big issue here is is crispy skin and making sure temp, uh, chicken makes temp uh, for me uh, they went over well I did try that recipe so now I'm going to try it with whole wings and I'm definitely going to see how this hot sauce marinade works out so actually we're going to be smoking chicken wings today but I want to do 250 uh, that was called for for the wings and I also want to do 250 because I want to do the ribs I really want to see how the master belt handles ribs that's kind of like my go-to so today the master belt has been added to the family I'm going to move over here out of the Sun hopefully not leaving a big shadow add it to the the rest of the crew my two kettles my 18 and 14 inch Weber Smoky Mountain got Kong over there in the back my Oklahoma Joe now that little one is covered in the gray uh, that's my uh, master forge it's what I use to light my chimney starter safely and of course the previous edition which was a Christmas present 55 gallon gateway UDS which is a beast um, I have to admit I enjoy cooking on all of them and a lot of people don't believe I actually cook on all of them, but I do. Uh, I'm going to do a brisket on the Weber, I'm sorry, on the Gateway uh, in, in an attempt to perfect my brisket process. We'll be doing that one very shortly. There will be a video. And then I think the next cook will be on the Kong and on the Oklahoma Joe. So with that, I'm going to stop this going to go ahead and pull the cover off the master belt we're going to cook today I've got some leftover lump but I'm going to use uh, the majority will be some king's fruit and I'm going to use some maple uh, wood chunks for smoke and I'm going to add that directly to the hopper I'm going to mix in this old uh, I don't want to say old but used lump that was left over from multiple cooks from the gateway so that I can kind of get that uh, used up so we'll check that periodically uh, as this cook uh, advances okay we're going to put these on it's approaching 9 30 at 250 degrees I has been kind of burning pretty clean let's we'll see what the master belt can do with a small skinny slab of ribs okay we got the spare ribs on at 930 and we're going to see what the master belt 
560 gravity series does with some spare ribs as I said earlier I'm gonna put on some wings and try out uh, Central Barbecue's recipe we're gonna smoke these wings I think I got about 24 25 uh, foot size and uh, we'll smoke them at 250 and then we're going to drop them in a, a new deep fryer that I just picked up off of Amazon for about a minute and we're going to see how that marinade in Louisiana style uh, hot sauce how that tastes uh, I'm actually doing the ribs as a backup in case these wings are just too hot too spicy uh, for my wife for my daughter for my granddaughter uh, real quick in terms of the master built uh, one of the things I notice is that the thermometer on the uh, door does not have any uh, numbers or indicates any uh, temperature other than uh, I guess you could call it the, the, the smoke range which is smoke barbecue grill and sear uh, that's understandable considering that it's digitally controlled current temperature 247 degrees I have it set for 250 uh, I don't know if you can hear it but the fan is working I just opened the door so it's gonna take it doesn't take long for it to get back up to temp so right now I'm thinking really happy with uh, the way things are the way this thing performs it's still very early we're going to see uh, what the overall assessment is going to be. All right, it is 10:30. Ribs have been on one hour. Let's do a quick check. Let's see, looking kind of dry, so we're going to throw a little mist on. Uh, the rub is starting to set, though. build has definitely maintained a temperature between 240 and 49 and 50 degrees. Just hitting them with a little apple cider vinegar and apple juice. Just enough to moisten them up. One hour in, we'll start checking back every 30 minutes now. Okay, we're at two hours in. Let's take a look. Hit them with a little moisture. I decided to put this in closer to the to the hopper. Uh, as you can see, these are some very uneven ribs, so I expect that end's going to take a little bit longer to cook. But right now, all things considered, I'm happy. Uh, this was not me trying to really test my rib uh, expertise. It's more just to see what the uh, master belt can do. Uh, I would like to point out the copper or golden brown or bronze look on the interior of the grill or smoker uh, clearly it is starting to season itself up uh, really really happy to see that so as I said I'm gonna put on some uh, chicken wings later and um, maybe even a little Italian sausage like I said I'm not trying to show my barbecue wares I'm just trying to see what the master built can do It's around 1.38. We got the ribs in the wrap. Uh, the only thing I put in the rib wrap was some Captain Rodney's original Buchan glaze. I wasn't going to put anything, but since I'm going to glaze it with this, I decided to throw it in there. The Central Barbecue wings are on. And I got some Italian sausage dripping down on there and a little extra flavor. Um, I did crank the heat up to 275. I really want to make sure these are done 
by 4.30 because my daughter's coming over. So, I'm still thinking this is a good, relatively good town. It shouldn't deviate too much from uh, Central Barbecue's recipe by raising about 25 degrees. So, got about, I don't know, got about 16 wings on that, on that bottom grate. eight more in the refrigerator but right now we don't have any room but as of right now uh, we're making pretty good progress uh, well so far I don't have any complaints with the uh, master built 560 ribs are looking pretty good I just put a little glaze on them I'm gonna put them back on for about five or ten minutes to kind of tack that up first batch of wings are done I'll get a quick video of that the uh, Italian sauces didn't last long. That was lunch, so but uh, we'll try to get a final, uh, final shot, final scene uh, on the finished products. So far, uh, really impressed. It's responded to all of my uh, uh, changing of the temperatures uh, through the Wi-Fi. Uh, at this point, I mean, even the, the sausage had a nice. Uh, smoke ring so right now no complaints okay according to central barbecue the last step on these uh, Louisiana hot sauce marinated wings is to drop them in a deep fryer for about I don't know 60 to 90 seconds When I took them off, they were 185, excuse me, 175 and 185. So, they're definitely done in front of them. I tasted one. You can taste that hot sauce, that very hot. Uh, and then it's not the salt. Uh, the issue is, frankly, uh, other than that light appearance, I mean, I can't complain. I, I think I'll be doing this again. Let's cut this off and then get back to a few other things. Alright, let's see what the master built 560. Uh oh, I probably should have flipped these over. So we can see. Oh, they're definitely tender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have my, my rib experts here to let me know how the ribs are tasting. This is not something ooh, spectacular. I just want to see how the master built did. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I was going to let her take it. You don't want to taste them? It's hot now. Uh -huh. You the rib master, uh, the rib it's hot. expert. Mm -hmm. Hey. You don't want to be on camera? No. I don't want you on camera either. Don't worry. People know who you are. That this is going on YouTube. Yeah. Yummy. Okay. Well, okay. just got the seal of approval. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We had just hit press. Uh, just a note or commentary on the Master Built Gravity Series 560. Based on what I'm cooking today. One slab of ribs, uh, some Italian sausage, and of course some full-size chicken wings. It would be nice to have a third full set of uh, cooking racks. I've had to divvy up that second rack. Uh, if I am going to continue to cook multiple meats or say an entire meal with vegetables things of that nature that third set's going to have to going to have to be purchased because it would come in handy and my wife also mentioned 
she wants the rotisserie add on. Uh, I've looked at some videos, pretty simple, pretty easy to add it. Uh, there's already pre existing screw holes. Uh, plug is going to be <clears throat> with a flathead screwdriver taken out. So, yeah, I believe the price on that is $99.99. So, but right now, I think the addition of a third set of racks, whether one full rack or two of those individual half and half racks that were included either way, uh, frankly, I would prefer one full size rack. Um, but I think if I am going to continue to cook in this manner, now it doesn't really matter if I'm doing a brisket or a pork butt, but that's the only item. But doing multiple uh, proteins, uh, doing an entire meal uh, simultaneously, uh, that's going to definitely be a uh, necessary addition.